When Claudio Ranieri was brought in at Sampdoria last October, he had but one mandate. To save them from relegation. Yeah, even at that early stage, with a sole win over Torino, the only points they had picked up from their opening seven Serie A matches, Sampdoria were in dire straits. Rock bottom of the table when Ranieri arrived on the 7th of October. Ranieri, of course, has a history of making miracles. And should he complete his task at Sampdoria, so bad was their outlook under former boss Eusebio Di Francesco, it might well stand alongside Leicester City's Premier League triumph in his list of personal achievements. To make our fans dream, first we need to chase the nightmare away. But I say let's go one step at a time. I have been called to join a club sitting at the bottom of the table, and I have come here because I believe this is not the true value of Sampdoria's squad. Since then, Ranieri oversaw a further six wins for the club, taking them out of the relegation zone back in December. But Sampdoria aren't out of the woods yet. Our main motivation must be always to be all the time above the relegation zone, because we are not absolutely certain that we are going to finish the championship. So as we don't know that, it is better to be always in that position in order to avoid any scare. Going into Serie A's restart, they sit just a point ahead of the 18th-placed Lecce, though with a game in hand over their relegation rivals. But that might actually turn out to be more of a hindrance than a blessing. Now that we know that we are resuming the competition on the 20th, we are starting to think about our first game, which will be against Inter. Yep, that game in hand is against the High Flyers Internazionale at the San Siro, who smashed them 3-1 back in September, making it likely to be an unhappy return to action for Sampdoria. Not that Inter boss Antonio Conte will be counting his chickens. Back in February, when this fixture was originally scheduled, Conte was well aware of the threat a Ranieri team posed. Una squadra viva. Eh, hanno un un allenatore di grande esperienza. It's a team in good health. Come Claudio they have a very experienced coach in Claudio Ranieri. And they have quality players in their squad. Experienced players like Fabio Quagliarella, who year after year keeps surprising us as a player and as a person. We will have to be very careful. Sarà una, una partita. Ranieri does have far better opportunities to pick up the points needed to complete the miracle at Sampdoria. Among their remaining 13 matches, they will face all four of the teams below them in Serie A, in Lecce, Spal, Genoa and Brescia. While the likes of Udinese and Cagliari, who are in the bottom half of the table, offer further opportunity. It might not put a trophy in his cabinet, but saving Sampdoria from relegation will go down as one of Claudio Ranieri's finest achievements. Thanks for watching. For more great content on all things football, make sure you hit the subscribe button.